Hello, bearded bee people. Welcome back to B and KB's, where the comedy of errors continues. <clears throat> um, so yesterday I did the video where my oxalic acid vaporizer broke and the sugar syrup that I had set out for the bees that needed food congealed and it was just a crappy day in the bee yard. And then this is the next day and uh, I need to get formic on these hives. So when I woke up, it was downpouring. It was just absolutely raining like crazy. And I knew that there was no opportunity that I had to get out during that. But the forecast said that it should be here and there, kind of hit and miss. And uh, so I waited for it to lighten up and I got out here and I did a half of the yard really quickly. All the bees look really good. I'm trying to get the rest of these colonies treated at least the rest of this yard. I was hoping to get two yards done today, but it is absolutely no fun dealing with formic acid in the rain. And uh, so yeah, if this is all I can do today, then this is all I can do today. Tomorrow looks to be a much nicer day. I've got absolutely nothing planned uh, for the entirety of tomorrow. So if I've got two yards to do tomorrow, then I, so be it, that's, that's fine. I was hoping to get more done today, uh, but yeah, like I said, so be it. Let's just do what we can do and try to be happy about it. But before I get into what I'm doing here, uh, I do wanna say thank you to all of the commenters from that last video. I mean, a lot of you guys were just there for like uplifting comments and that was really awesome. But a lot of you guys had some really cool ideas as to what I should do as far as my vaporizer goes. And a few of you had recommended uh, particular vaporizer. I believe it's Larub Bees or Larub or something like that. Honestly, I'd never heard of the thing. Um, but I, a bunch of you guys had su suggested that particular type and said that a bunch of other YouTubers use it. Uh, and so yeah, I, uh, I got in touch with them. And I'll probably have one of those out here within the next not too long. Um, so yeah, I appreciate the heck out of every one of you that commented for that video and any other one, but especially that one. Um, so thank you. Let's get some of this work done. <clears throat> okay, so we have a middle rock here the middle rock was supposed to signify um that it may or may not you know be strong enough for a full dose of formic and so you know might get one strip and it might get none um but because of the sort of extended amount of time since i've been out here these need next these need more boxes now and uh, full doses. So that's not a bad thing. Uh, although I did have to go back to get more boxes when I realized this, um, it is different than what I expected and it sort of threw my whole rock classification out the window. But that's fine, that's fine. Adding honey boxes is not a big deal and it's just more honey that we'll extract later on. So I'm happy to see that they're doing well. <clears throat> Where are my gloves? I noticed him on that flower, or her, probably her, uh, and thought that that was funny. She's just sitting there hoping and waiting for one of these bees to land there so she can snatch it up. Nature is scary. No inner cover. Fantastic. Boy, am I good at this. Of course, I don't have any with me because why would I have frickin' inner covers with me? A little bit of heft to it. <clears throat> you can see what I was saying and that that's definitely not a middle rock hive. That's a front rock hive. It's just been long enough for them to have built up to a different classification since the last time I saw them. <clears throat> this is my first 
use of Formic Pro. And I do have to say, boy, this is a superior product. The, uh, everything about it is nicer. All right, like I said, that had a little bit of heft to it. I'm gonna give them another one. Yeah, this is, this Formic Pro, boy, it's a superior product. Like I said, I had avoided getting it for a couple of years because it was slightly more expensive. And I thought, boy, how could they improve on Might Away Quick Strips? Well, they could improve in every way that I've complained about them in the past, which is usually due to their uh, kind of iffy shelf life, like if it's left in any type of heat, it's gonna turn to soup. And if it's a day after the expiration date, it's gonna turn to soup. And the expiration's really, really short. But that Formic Pro stuff is top notch. I mean, the expiration date is much further out. The, uh, the medium, the material that that Formic is soaked in is, is just great. I mean, it's given off way less vapor, so it's easier for me to apply without a gas mask on and it's firmer and more robust. So you don't really have to worry about tearing them open or apart when you're pulling them apart to place on the hive. So top notch, I'm very impressed. I will not buy my Away Quick Strips ever again. Little something in between that, uh, that lid and this, uh, these frames so that I don't have a big problem pulling frames up with the lid next time I come out here. Hopefully I'll remember or to happen to have a queen excluder at that time. Or not a queen excluder, an inner cover. not ideal obviously getting these strips a little bit wet before putting them in there is not great putting formic on bees makes them pissed off already doing it in the rain is just another level of angry in general I'm trying not to pull these inner covers off Heavy. A little bit of burr comb in between the frames. Normally I'd be putting these strips underneath the queen excluder, but on these metal ones, they don't really bend like that. So that little extra space uh, from the top of the queen excluder to the bottom of the frames is, uh, is where the, they sit best. So I'm just placing them on top. And here the rain comes in a bigger way. Thank you. 
on, Rain. I have three pallets left. Please chill out. Let me get my work done. Please don't fuck up that GoPro. Man, when I was on my way back out here, the radar showed a little, little blip. Uh, for sure it'll be gone before I get out of here. Boy, this one needs another box badly. That one's heavy as heck. Be right back. Another one that didn't look like it needed a, a box last time, but I can tell already that it needs one now. Is this box gonna fall apart? Oh my goodness. Please don't. Whoa, bro. Whoa, bro. This is why I don't like doing this stuff in the rain. I have to go grab another box and leave these strips out to get rained on. I shouldn't have opened them yet. Box of foundation, one of the few boxes of foundation that we have left. And give those bees a lot of work to do. All right, I'm gonna get this camera out of the rain. I did not expect it to continue to rain like this. I'm gonna try to get those three pallets done and catch back up with you guys when I am done. Probably sitting in the truck complaining about something else that went wrong. <laughs> Uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so it finally stopped raining right as I was finishing up. <sighs> I am, uh, I'm perpetually like pessimistic, I guess, because 27 of these 32 hives look great. The majority of them needed more honey boxes and we were out here less than a week ago. So the boxes that we added a week ago are getting heavy and so way more than I had expected, needed more honey boxes to the point where I had to go back and get more. I didn't even bring any out here. I just happened to have four or five in the back of the truck from other days and used those and then had to go get more. And so that was good news, but there are five colonies that were back rock colonies. So there weren't things that happened in between last time and now, but still there were five colonies that weren't strong enough for formic. And that sort of upsets me. Um, I mean, in such a beautiful yard, with so many tall colonies putting up so much honey, so many large brood nests, just jam packed full of bees that seem to be doing such a good job. And every time I get out here, I'm adding more boxes and seeing more clusters grow and, and do exactly what I need them to do. But those five are going to stick in my mind more than those 27, unfortunately. 
it's the just the way my mind works I guess I probably majority of people's minds work like that you just remember the bad things and they stick with you a little longer than the good things and that's unfortunate um but it's definitely true for me so uh I'm happy I'm happy I'm telling myself that I'm telling you guys that but I'm telling myself that as well uh got a lot of flies running around me right now and it's humid as heck and I have two more yards to do like this but it's like 4:30 and I don't think I'm gonna do those. I, I, like I said, I, I don't have anything else to do tomorrow. I have a little bit of computer work that I can get done before the end of the night tonight. And then I don't have anything else to do tomorrow. So running through those 50, like 60 colonies won't take me all that long. It won't be too difficult as long as it's not raining and I remember to bring stuff out with me in the first attempt. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that stuff tomorrow some computer stuff tonight as well as uh, editing and uploading this video. So yeah, we are killing mites, we're putting honey up, and I am just plagued with a sort of uh, pessimistic mind lately, I guess. Yeah, tell me how your guys' bees are doing. Uplift me with some awesome stories about some awesome honey boxes, awesome honey harvests. How are you guys doing? Uh, I wanna hear it. Let's have a conversation in the comments section below. Get out there and have some fun with your bees. Thanks for watching. See ya.